Hello, my friends. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm going to be making cod with olives and a white wine sauce over pasta for dinner tonight. And so I am looking forward to it. It's like a marriage made in heaven, cod and olives. It resembles a Mediterranean dish. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I love pasta. So why don't we get started and get on with our dinner. Do you have trouble peeling your garlic? Well, if you do, I've got the right tool for you. I want to show you how I peel my garlic. This is called a garlic peeler. And uh, it's just simple and easy and very inexpensive. And just put your garlic inside it and roll it. Whoops, my placemat keeps moving. And roll it inside like so. Probably should have done one at a time. But I'm a little lazy and try to do both at the same time. And then look it out. Look at that. Just a little bit left there where it had a little bad area. But peeled. This one, let me do it by itself. There, it's still clinging a little, but it just easily pops off now that it's been rolled. See how easy? So anyway, you, you might want to give this a try. I have it listed below in the description. Uh, you can buy it through Amazon. You won't pay any more by buying it through my link in the description. I might get a percent of commission on it if you choose to buy that way. So anyway, let's go on and get our garlic minced up. So let's cut up our garlic now. Let's cut those ends off. And you don't really need to watch me do this, so why don't I do this on my own and I'll come back with it finished and we'll get started on cooking the cod. Okay, so I have my handy dandy iron skillet heating up here and I have put two tablespoons of olive oil in. You could put one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter if you're not concerned about this being a heart healthy meal. Now I have taken two six ounce fillets of cod and cut them into cubes. I've also patted them dry. So let's add that to our skillet. And what we want to do is to brown the cod on all sides. Let's check and see if it's ready to turn. Nicely, lightly brown. If you're using butter, it does brown easier. And the butter will add a little to that flavor, too. Now, while I'm cooking this cod, I've got my pasta water started. I'm going to be using spaghetti tonight. You can choose your favorite pasta. This cod still had a lot of water in it. It, it was frozen. If your cod's fresh, you probably will find it works better for the browning. Okay, these are starting to look done. I've been cooking these on a medium-high heat. And so what I'm going to do now is remove them from the skillet and set them aside for later. Okay. 
Now let's turn our heat down. And I'm going to add just a tad bit more oil. It was a tad bit more than I wanted. <laughs> I'm going to scrape up those goodies before they start to burn. And now let's add our garlic. I chopped the garlic while you were away, or while I was away. I don't remember who left. <laughs> now we want to just brown our garlic slightly. Actually, we don't even want to brown it. We want to heat it till the juices and flavors come out, but we don't want it to brown. It won't take but about 30 seconds, and this is almost there, because my skillet was too hot. Now I'm going to add one cup of wine. We want to raise our temperature back up. We want that wine to boil and that will remove the alcohol. I'm going to scrape up all the goodies in the bottom, help flavor our sauce. Now I use a dry white wine. It can be a very inexpensive wine. It will still be just as delicious as a pricey wine. Let's add some salt, about a half a teaspoon, and about a fourth a teaspoon of ground pepper. I'm using freshly ground. It's in that container that's so hard to grind. I'm going to have to get me a new one. I've seen these automatic grinders. Maybe that's what I need. I'll check it out and let you know how it goes. There we go. Okay, I'll get back to you after the wine has boiled and reduced by about a half. Now our wine has reduced by about a half. So I'm going to put our tapenade in. It's a Greek tapenade. I buy mine already prepared. We'll put in three-fourths a cup. It has Greek olives, green olives, capers, sunflower seeds, and olive oil. The red um, are pimentos. I'm sorry, the red are red pepper strips. The seasonings are oregano, garlic, uh, a grape mustard, sea salt, and vinegar. Let's let that heat up in there. And now my pasta should be at al dente. So I'm going to go grab it and add it to our mixture. Oh, there we go. My handy dandy skimmer. What would I do without it? I've fallen in love with it and I really would not survive without it. And you could have one too, if you don't already. I have it listed down in my description. You could buy it through Amazon. There is no additional cost by going through my link. And I might get a small percent of commission. So I would appreciate it if you use my links whenever you buy from Amazon. 
Okay, let's stir that pasta in. Now I've saved my pasta water so I can add it to the sauce if we need it. It will help thicken the sauce. And I think we need it. Let me go get that. There we go. Added about a half to three fourths a cup. Let's add our cod back in along with any juices that have come off. You see why they say this is a marriage made in heaven? The cod and the tapenade. Those flavors are going to be awesome. Okay, I'm going to serve this up. Wow. Look at that cod and olive tapenade with white wine sauce over our pasta. Isn't that a marriage made in heaven? I can't wait to try this. Look at that. Yum, yum. You know, the only next better thing I can think of is to put slivered almonds on it. Maybe we'll do that next time. Yum. So do you want to join me in trying this? Well, I am not going to share it with you. You go make your own. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back again for another video. Bye now.